Disclaimer, these videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to talk of the Battle of Limanawa, located in the Galician Carpathia Mountains and involving elements of the Russian Empire and the Austro-Hungarian Empire on December 1st to the 13th, 1914. November had been a rough month for the Russian Empire and a great month for Germany. The Austro-Hungarian command believed they could capitalize on their ally successes. They assumed that because of what the Germans did, there wouldn't be a Russian move in their area. Truly believing in this idea of success, the Austro-Hungarians' 4th Army's 14th Corps, under the command of General Joseph Roth, along with the German Empire's 47th Division, were ordered to assemble at Chabalka. There, with General Svetozar Orovic and his Austro-Hungarian 3rd Army, the forces were sent to attack Bartfeld and New Sandes. Once they'd secured those towns, they moved quickly on to Limanawa on December 3rd. Upon reaching his goal, General Roth sent the 13th Rifle Division and the 8th and 3rd Infantry Division towards New Sandes itself. Word reached Russian HQ, and in response, they sent the 8th and 24th Corps to intercept Roth's forces. With the Austro-Hungarian offensive slowing down in other areas, Austro-Hungarian HQ sent the 45th Rifle Division to the area, where they encountered additional Russian troops sent from the 8th and 3rd Russian armies on December 7th. The morning of December 7th, the Russian 8th Corps drove into New Sandes, but were stopped abruptly by the Austro-Hungarian defenders. The fighting was fierce, but no advance was made by either side over the three days. Finally, things changed on the morning of December 10th with the Austro-Hungarian arrival of the 38th Hanved Infantry Division when they reached the defenders and helped reinforce New Sandes. Realizing the arrival of more Austro-Hungarians, General Nikolai Ivanovov, the Russian commander, ordered the Russian units to pull back and abandon New Sandes and head towards towns located south of New Sandes. This gave the Austro-Hungarians the undisputed possession of New Sandes itself. This would be the final clear victory that the Austro-Hungarian Empire would have in its existence without calling in the aid of its allies. The Austro-Hungarian Empire was dismantled after World War I. The Austro-Hungarian losses were 12,000 dead, wounded, or captured, while the Russians lost more than 30,000 dead, wounded, or captured. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.